Instrumentation transmitter is a device that converts the process variable into standard instrumentation signal like 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 5 volts. The signal produced by the transmitter is proportional to the value of process variable being measured. In this video, we will talk about the different types of transmitter. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon. The sensor or a transducer sends the process value and produce an electrical signal which is proportional to the process value. This electrical signal is very low in magnitude in order of millivolt. This low magnitude signal cannot be sent to a longer distance because of its low magnitude and inherent cable resistance and losses. So, transmitter is the answer of this problem. The transmitter amplifies the output signal received from sensor and convert it into the standard 4 to 20 milliampere signal. This 4 to 20 milliampere current signal could be transmitted to a control system at remote location up to kilometers over a two wire loop system. In this video, we will have a brief idea of different types of transmitters. There are different types of transmitters like pressure transmitter, level transmitter, temperature transmitter, flow transmitter, pH transmitter and conductivity transmitter. The pressure transmitters are used to measure the pressure of industrial process. In pressure transmitter sensor, there is a diaphragm. When pressure is applied to the diaphragm, it either expand or compress and its resistance value change accordingly. The change in resistance is detected by the transmitter and converted to the proportional 4 to 20 milliampere signal. There are three types of pressure transmitter, absolute pressure transmitter, gauge pressure transmitter and differential pressure transmitter. The absolute pressure transmitter is used to measure pressure relative to perfect vacuum. The gauge pressure transmitter is used to measure pressure relative to atmospheric pressure when this pressure transmitter reads the zero psi that means zero psi is atmospheric pressure. And the differential pressure transmitter is used to measure the differential pressure between two different pressure points. Let's talk about the level transmitters. The level transmitters are used to measure the levels of solids and liquid material in a vessel or space. They can be categorized as point level measurement and continuous level measurement. In point level measurement, a point level switch detects if a certain predefined level is reached. In continuous level measurement, the level of material is continuously measured as it falls or rises. The various types of point level measurement transmitters are capacitance level transmitter, optical level transmitter, conductivity level transmitter, vibrating tuning fork level transmitter and float level transmitters. Continuous level measurement. In continuous level measurement technique, there are two types of level transmitters, ultrasonic level transmitter and radar level transmitter. Both the transmitter work on the principle of transit time. In ultrasonic level transmitter, it uses the ultrasonic sound waves to measure the level, while in radar level transmitter, it uses high frequency radar waves 
to measure the level. Let's have a look on the temperature transmitters. The temperature transmitter is generally composed of a temperature probe and two wire solid state electronic unit. Based on the temperature probe, the temperature transmitter can be categorized as RTD or thermal resistance temperature transmitter and thermocouple temperature transmitter. In RTD temperature transmitter, the sensing element is RTD. The RTD produces the resistance signal proportional to the temperature being measured and the transmitter converts this resistance signal to the standard instrumentation signal like 4 to 20 mA signal. In thermocouple temperature transmitter, the sensing element is thermocouple. Thermocouple produces the millivolt signal which is proportional to the temperature being measured. The transmitter converts this millivolt signal to the standard instrumentation signal like 4 to 20 mA signal. Flow transmitters The flow transmitters are most important transmitter in the instrumentation. Flow transmitters are used to measure the flow rate of liquid, gas and steam media. There are variety of flow transmitters available. These transmitters are based on different working principle. They are designed according to various types of process applications. We have made a separate video on flow transmitters, working principle applications and their advantages and disadvantages. The link of this video is given in the description. There are variety of flow meters available. Positive displacement flow transmitter. This transmitter measures the volume of fluid that passes through the flow meter. Differential pressure flow meter. This flow meter work on the Bernoulli's principle. Electromagnetic flow meter. This flow meter work on the Faraday's law. Ultrasonic flow meter. Ultrasonic flow meter work on the Doppler effect principle. Coriolis mass flow meter. This flow meter work on the motion mechanics principle. Thermal mass flow meter. This flow meter work on the heat conductivity of fluid principle. Vortex flow meter. Vortex flow meter works on the Kerman vortex street principle. If you want to know more about the flow meters, we have made a separate video about the flow meters. The link of this video is given in the description. Next is pH transmitter. The pH transmitter is used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of process fluid. The pH transmitter measure the concentration of hydrogen ions in the fluid being measured. In pH transmitter, the sensing element is called sensing probe. This probe has two electrode inside, the reference electrode and sensing electrode. The sensing probe produces the electrical signal which is proportional to the hydrogen ion concentration. The solution Acidity or alkalinity can be determined based on the hydrogen ion concentration. Conductivity transmitter The conductivity transmitter is used to measure the volume of dissolved solid in a solution. The conductivity can be defined as ability of solution to conduct the electrical current. The ions in solution which may be dissolved in form of salt carry the electrical current. A solution having more ion dissolved will be more conductive.
position transmitter. The position transmitter uses a position sensor to detect the position travel or displacement. The position sensor pick up the travel of pneumatic or electric control valve and convert it into the continuous output signal of 4 to 20 milliampere. There are two types of position transmitter, travel rotation transmitter and travel distance transmitter. The travel rotation transmitter detects the angular movement while the travel distance transmitter detects the linear movement. So that was all about the differences between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. We do hope that you like this video. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon.